Hold on to your lightsabers, double-sided. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. After freaking months of speculation and every news story coming out saying uh, Brett Favre will not be directing this film, like what? Every, Fuck! <laughs> every single time it was so annoying. It's like so and so's not directing this. J.J. Abrams was one of those people, but now several sources are confirming it's a basically a done deal. J.J. Abrams is going to be the director of the new Star Wars movie. Jay, you're a way bigger fan of Star Wars than I am. I like Star Wars. Star Wars is the shit. You're a Star Wars fan. I'm fucking Star Wars fan. The only thing I was talking about, Mike, J.J. Abrams does this movie. Uh, it's going to be. I mean, it's. We, you know, Mike said it right. He's got big balls. I mean, but the thing big is, big balls of steel. Balls of steel. I've got <laughs> balls, balls of steel. Balls, balls, balls of steel. Uh, balls, 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 balls of steel. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, he's already got Star Trek on this side. And he's gonna balance it with Star Wars, another huge fucking uh, franchise. I mean. It's kind of scary, and I know a lot of people are really apprehensive about the next Star Wars. I mean, I've wanted. I mean, I'm kind of apprehensive, but I'm really hopeful for it. I mean, we're not. I don't think we're gonna get another fucking Jar Jar. <laughs> like, no God! No God! Please no! 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 <laughs> uh, well, that's not gonna happen. But I'm just, you know, people are saying, well, it's Disney. You know, what are they gonna do with this? And then you get J.J. Abrams on, who's an amazing director, but. He's, he is going to be balancing these two huge franchises. I think it's going to be freaking awesome. I hope it is. Every movie J.J. Abrams like, produces or touches, for the most part, ends up being awesome. Like, yeah. Cloverfield, he didn't even direct that, and it was awesome. Uh, it goes Protocol. The he was just a part of that, and it was still awesome. Dude, he would probably be my choice. I know it's weird because he has Star Trek, but that I don't think that's going to make the, a problem for the movies. That might make a problem for him. Yeah. But, dude, look at the care and like time he put into Star Trek. Like, the... That that he brought. I mean, where was that franchise? When it, was that I mean, it was dying. I mean, it was dying. Yeah, I, so, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying. I know there's these tricky fuckers are gonna get on here and be like, "What the fuck? He was never dead." Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? Don't you put that on us? <laughs> Klingons live. No, no, no. Rough on him now. No, he needs to know. Okay. He's always crying. I, I know that. I'm just, I'm just saying it wasn't like as popular. I fucking love Star Trek. I, I, I'm, I'm more of a Star Trek fan than a Star Wars. I fan. love Star Trek too. But the thing is, the Star Trek after Enterprise on the TV series, it kind of had been oh, you yeah. know, well, kind yeah, of no, dying it was, it franchise. Was, Nobody really cared. It and then was all a shitter. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he comes out in what 2009 with Star Trek, and everybody fucking loved that movie. Even people that weren't even Star Trek fans. I mean, that was your first time even getting a hint of it, and then you went back and watched the original series. Yeah. The thing I remember what Abrams said in an interview a while ago. He said that he was never a fan of Star Trek growing up, but he was a fan of Star Wars, so he would rather do Star Trek because he wasn't that much of a fan. So I'm thinking now that if he isn't a director, I guess he's gotten over his fear and he's like, I, you know, I'm maybe he's scared that he doesn't want to let another director to fuck it up. I, I know I'm gonna like jinx it right now. I don't want to jinx it right now. I'm not trying to jinx it right now. But I'm pretty much it. guaranteeing Fuck. with him directing, it will be a good movie. It is gonna be good. He's I, not gonna fucking ruin it. I think episode seven, which is what it'd be, I think that they're really, they're, like, Disney wants to set a standard, like, they just acquired this, that, that was the first fucking thing they said, we got this from George <laughs> Boy Toy Lucas, and now we're gonna make a good movie, and I think they want to make a great movie so that people can be like, alright, you guys can do it, because, you know, I don't care, I, episode one and two, come the fuck on. Do you remember it? Yes, yes, I remember! Hayden Christensen, I just, it sucked, I mean, and George Lucas is a good director, and he did a good job in the 70s and stuff, but he really should have let somebody else take over. Well, yeah, obviously, but, but I mean, the thing is, just fucking dude, J.J. Abrams is just, I, I feel bad for him, like, I feel bad for him, because you got Star Trek on I wouldn't want to touch it. Then he just added Star Wars to it, you know, he decided to do it, though, so I think it's good for us, maybe bad for him, because he's going to be fucking working his I really, you know who, I, you know who one guy was rumored on there, and they asked him, and I wouldn't, I, I would have loved just to see what he would have done with it, is Guillermo del Toro. Because that would have been just so weird to see a guy like Guillermo del Toro who does fa like Pan's Labyrinth and shit like that weird shit, mm -hmm. and they put him in like a setting like that and just see what he did, like let him cut loose. Yeah, but that's a risky like that's a risky thing. Like it could be bad. That no, way. but I mean, but, but, yeah, but I mean, Abrams, I, I just, Abrams at the same time, dude. If, if Abrams directs this movie with Star Trek going on the other way, it could be. I mean, you don't know. I mean, I don't it, think so, dude. I think like I said, I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's pretty much a guarantee. It's at least going to be a good. Film. I hope it is. Like I, I have a lot of hope for it. A new hope. It's it's just like <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's just like Joss Whedon with the Avengers. He respects the material. What about fucking Joss Whedon? No. Do it, Joss. How, how can you say that one guy can't direct Star Trek and Star Wars, but then say he can direct the Avengers and Star Wars? Because Joss Whedon directed the Avengers. <laughs> 
My only hope for this with J.J. Abrams directing it is that he that he goes to one of those crazy Star Wars planets and Cloverfield's still there like fucking shit up. It'd be doors. funny if J.J. Abrams tries to tie it into Cloverfield. Like, so that's where it came from. <laughs> it gives it an origin story. Get him, Luke! I would like that a lot. Do you think J.J. Abrams would be a good director for this movie? And if you don't think he would be a good director, if you think it would be just too much for him to handle because he is a man. I mean, come on. Some people say that he was more than a man but less than a god, but <laughs> that's not true. Uh, who would you pick as an alternative for Star Wars? Yeah. And I'll, I'll add on a little extra question there. Uh, do you think that the reboot's going to be good? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I do Fuck yeah. Now I do. I didn't before. Now I do. I, I, I have a new hope. I wonder, I wonder if he's going to direct all three. See, that's, that's, it, a, but that's, see, that's just like that, signing your life. No, that's away. another thing. Is he doing like he's doing Star Trek Two Into Darkness? Is he doing a trilogy with Star Trek? Like is he wrapping it up with Star Trek Three and then letting somebody else take over? Will Matthew it? Fox be in it? Will he be? <laughs> How did they get you to ask me? Just what did they please. offer you? I didn't say I was gonna do it. I just wanted you to understand how you're gonna die. Jack! And I had it! I know, son. My God! You think I believe you people? If I don't get a call from you in the next hour, I'm gonna know something went wrong and he died! And hope that you let me go. Come on. Don't tell me what to do! Jack! Don't! Don't! Nothing is going to happen! Guys, this was Movie News. I'm Jay, this is Mike, and we will see you next time on the other side of a far, far away galaxy. <laughs> oh! We watched a movie, yeah, we watched a movie.